There's been an enormous amount of progress recently on object localization and classification, but the general problem of scene understanding will also require knowledge about objects' colors, their shapes, and how they interact with light. This sort of description is known as a set of intrinsic images, and finding an object's intrinsic images is difficult because the problem is fundamentally underconstrained. For example, given this vase, humans are able to effortlessly infer that there is a light coming from the top right, the vase has a curved shape, and it has a uniform blue color. However, that's not the only possible explanation. If you instead predict a flat shape, there will be almost no contribution from shading, and so the dark regions in the observation appear in the reflectance. Alternatively, you could get the shape right but the lighting wrong, guessing an unnatural red color that shows up in the shading, once again forcing the reflectance to update accordingly. Because these all combine to form the vase input, they are all valid intrinsic images for this observation. That means that finding the correct set of intrinsic images is really about finding the most probable explanation out of infinitely many mathematically valid options. Our contribution is a model that can improve its intrinsic image representations from unlabeled data. We do this by modeling not only the image decomposition function, but also a recombination function. A learned rendering engine uses the predicted intrinsic images to reconstruct the input. By imposing minimal extra structure in the renderer, this reduces to predicting the shading from a shape and lighting condition. Both the decomposition function and the learned shader are realized as convolutional autoencoders with skip layer connections. Given ground truth labels, our model can be trained in the usual supervised fashion. More importantly, when these ground truth labels are missing, our model can improve its intermediate intrinsic image representations by virtue of reconstructing the input. This is possible because the learned shading engine generalizes well with no further training. When trained on only a narrow distribution of synthetic shapes, it produces plausible shading images for even real objects. It can also learn to produce shadows between objects, a property often missing in these sorts of differentiable shaders. We demonstrate our model on a few generalization tasks. After being trained on the ground truth intrinsic images for five geometric primitives, we freeze the reflectance and lighting decoders along with the shader. We then train the shape decoder to minimize reconstruction loss on a few more complicated classic test shapes. The model recovers these shapes and their corresponding shading images through this self-supervised learning. We achieve a similar result on the more difficult task of category generalization, transferring a model that has been trained on only airplanes to one that can predict the intrinsic images of cars. Before the self-supervision, the reflectance predictions are washed out because most of the airplanes in the training set are white. This approach is useful because we might not be able to construct a ground truth intrinsic image dataset for the types of objects we actually care about, but through self-supervised learning, our model can transfer its intrinsic image representations to new types of objects using only raw, unlabeled data.